Hey there friends, Jim Miller here with Pure Gravel, the pre-ride show, I'm presented by Skosh. We are here in the Expo BWR Lawrence, Kansas. I get a chance to sit down for a few minutes. A return visitor to the pre-ride show, Tiffany Cromwell. Hey. Tiffany, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me back again. Um, since we last saw you in North Carolina, what you been up to? A little racing all over the world and having fun? Yeah, definitely. Been pretty busy. Went back to the road after North Carolina and what did we have? We had quite a few races like Plouet, the Vuelta, Challenge by La Vuelta, uh, the World Championships in Belgium. Yep. And of course finished with the first ever women's Paris Bay. So that was pretty exciting. That's where I really want to go because for everybody that's such a, a visually iconic race, what was that experience like being out there on the cobbles? It was pretty epic. Like, obviously, it was delayed, delayed, delayed. So this was what the third or fourth time we finally got going. And in the previous times it was delayed, I never actually got the chance to do the first recon. So I only saw the cobbles, I think, three days before, two days before. And they're as bad, if not worse, what everybody talks about. <laughs> and after doing the recon, I'm like, I will do this race once and never again. But racing, Check. yeah, <laughs> racing it turned out not quite as bad. Okay, we had pretty epic conditions with yeah. you know, the rain in the days before and making the cobbles quite muddy and slippery and yeah it was it was a short race but a fun race and now after racing I was like okay I want to try it again like what you can do differently how you can improve but it was pretty cool you know to ride into the velodrome for the first time you get the special feeling I'll bet I, I get it at home just watching I can't imagine what it's like as a rider um, and it's very good too that the sport has done that we've moved out the direction we've given the women their own race at an iconic course not just a tag along somewhere else yeah 100% and I'm sure it's going to continue to grow like I've started with this and it's like sure everybody says we should have the Arenberg Forest and this and that but you also need the lead in before that because as you saw the first sector it was literally chaos to that point there was crashes left right center it was like you get in there in a good position and then you're safe versus a lot of people's race was already finished by that point but it's great that yeah ASO finally gave us our own race and with the delay again they separated the men and women to different days so yeah. we also had our own platform and every team was excited every every ride was excited and everyone brought their own like TV crews and cameras right. to create their own stories and I think it was a really fantastic thing for women's cycling and now we get our own women's version of the Tour de France again which is fantastic yeah definitely and that just speaks again to the growing nature of hey we're paying more attention as we should to developing the women's and giving them their own races in the same form that the men have it exactly and again on our own platform so it starts the final day of the men's Tour de France in Paris and then goes on our own journey and sure we're only starting eight days but I think it's good to start small and grow instead of going bam all in one hit have a three week tour and the men so I think it's being done in a thoughtful way and of course it's really exciting like a bit of mix of everything like one really long stage some split stages some mountain nice. stages and then made it so like the GC will be done in the last two days so I think that adds excitement and sure. create a good story for the race yeah yeah so here we are at Lawrence, Kansas. We've got one more gravel race on, on the calendar. Is this kind of your button up to the year? Are we done after this and take a little well-earned time off? Definitely. This is the last race and yeah, it's been hard to kind of hang on to like, all right, got to keep training. And to be honest, my training has maybe gone downhill a little bit, but I've still been riding my bike at the same time, having adventures on the way and looking forward to finishing up here in Kansas. Awesome. Do you have a chance to pre-ride at all? Or have you seen any of the course? Yeah, we went out this morning just out. Well, we went to go to the CX course only to see the no, no mm -hmm. riding sign. So like, all right, they're keeping something secret, but yeah, had a little look and the gravel looks awesome, like really flat packed and, and fast. And so yeah, that's the only hint I've seen, but I've had a little look at the course profile and what's in store. I know just looking at the start list, you've got a talented group of women that are going to contend. So, and I know you're chief among them. We can't wait to see you get out there and, and do battle on the course. Yeah, I look forward to seeing the other women racing and it's great that we also have our own start and our own race, which will change the dynamics to sometimes other gravel races. You know, we mass start with the men as well. So it'll be interesting to see how the tactics are amongst the women and who's still got form and who doesn't. And I'll just hope I can hang on and play with them at the end. I think you're gonna do just fine. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Best of luck tomorrow. We look forward to chasing you around all day. No worries, thanks for having me. Thank you. Tiffany Cromwell joining us here on the pre-ride show presented by Skosh. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to get notifications of all the future episodes that drop while we're here in Lawrence. Thanks for tuning in.